Welcome back to another quick video. I'm Chef Devo, and today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Because doing the same thing over and over and over again, it can become a little bit monotone and it can become boring. So, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna make a pistachio dessert with a lot of pistachio, and it's called Pistachio Fantasy. I hope you guys enjoy it. There's a lot of steps, so stay with it through the end. You'll see an awesome dish you guys can make at home. Now, first things first, pistachio ice cream. Let's go. Okay, so we start off by taking some unsalted toasted pistachios and you just want to take the shell off it, just like this. Well, I don't need to show you how to take a pistachio out of a shell, but here we go. And take the husk off. Now you see this husk here that's stuck to the pistachio? It's very hard to get off. It's nearly impossible to get off while this is dry. So we're going to boil this. But first, you're going to want to unshell a lot of pistachios. There we go. Done. Okay, so take these pistachios, throw them into a pot of water just like this and then you're going to want to bring this to a boil. Now you do want to boil it for about 30 seconds to a minute and then just turn it off. That's enough to soften the pistachio so the husks come off. Alright, there we go. Just take this and sieve it through a sieve. Now you're going to need about 315 grams of pistachio for this recipe but accounting for some waste you'll probably want to shell and husk 330. Okay, so to take the husk off, it's very simple. All you have to do is just pinch it, just like this, and bam, it comes off. And then you have these beautiful bright green pistachio nuts. And this is the difference between a bright green ice cream and a brown colored tinty one. All right, so you're just gonna wanna shell all the pistachios. It's gonna take a while because 330 grams worth of pistachios at half a gram each, that's about 660 pistachios. That's the reason why a lot of other people won't show you how to do this because it takes so much time to do this. Okay, so this is what you're looking for, a beautiful big pot of green pistachio nuts. And you're gonna to wanna to take this and place it into a food processor until you get a thick, smooth paste, which looks a little bit like a green peanut butter. Just, you wanna have it nice and smooth and you wanna take 100 grams of this stuff and pop it into a blender, followed by 140 grams worth of sugar 220 grams worth of cream and last but not least 170 grams worth of milk now I'm giving all these measurements in grams because it's much more accurate than say milliliters or cups okay so just blend this until it's a smooth liquid and then you're gonna to want to sieve this to make sure that you haven't missed any chunks of pistachio that might have got through the blenders if it gets stuck, just tap it, and that will make it go through the sieve faster as it agitates the particles inside. Okay, so just put this into an ice cream maker right now. Just pour it in, and then turn it on. Now my ice cream maker is gonna churn for about 20 minutes, but you should check with your ice cream maker to see what they suggest in the manufacturer's guide. Also, you can hear it uh, at some point, the sound will change as the machine starts to churn and it becomes more difficult for it because the ice cream is harder to churn. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. I'm just gonna undo this and take my ice cream out. Now, I'm gonna put it inside this plastic tub, but I put this tub into the freezer so it's ice cold. So that when I put the ice cream into it, it doesn't start to melt. It's still very soft ice cream right now out of the machine, and it will melt very easily. So any contact with something warm and it starts to become a liquid, which you don't want to happen. All right, so I'm just gonna take it all out. As you can see, it's a beautiful bright green because we removed all the husks off the pistachio nuts. Something that a lot of other recipes that show you how to make pistachio ice cream don't bother to do because it takes so much effort and then end up with a mucky brown colored ice cream. All right, so once you've placed it into the tub and smoothed it out so you can scoop it out later, you just put this into the freezer for 24 hours so that it can mature and become a little bit better. Okay. Okay, and now to make the pistachio crumble. Okay, so we start off by this time taking 55 grams of salted and toasted pistachios and throwing them into a food processor. Then followed by 75 grams worth of digestive cookies and just crumble these up into the food processor. One teaspoon of sugar, but an argument could be made for two to make it some more caramelization. And three teaspoons of melted butter. This will hold it all together once it's been blended up a little bit. Okay, so now you just put the lid onto this. 
and start the machine. Okay, done. Now I'm going to put this onto a baking tray with baking paper over it and just spread it out so that it cooks evenly. And you're going to want to put this into an oven at about 180 degrees C for 7 to 10 minutes. And keep an eye on it so it doesn't turn black. And you want it to be this beautiful brown color like this. And it's just a delicious pistachio crumble right now. And now to make the caramel. You add some sugar into a pot, just like this, and you want to caramelize this. So just bring it up nice and slowly, and you want to get a beautiful golden color of the caramel. And then you just want to scrape it onto some baking paper with a spatula, just like this. And as you do, you'll notice it will start to retract away from wherever you put it, and it gets these beautiful organic shapes with little holes in it, which I find very appealing. So just scrape it across your entire baking paper, just like this and you want to get a nice thin crisps out of this. Now this stuff dries very, very quickly. So you'll be able to remove it pretty much instantly. Okay, so here, you start to just peel it away from the bottom. And it's very important to use baking paper for this because it won't separate from any other material nearly. Okay, so once you separate it enough, you can just take off one of these little crisps, just like this. And then you've got these beautiful shards that you can add onto your dessert and just give it another level. Now to keep these shards, I would suggest you put them inside a Tupperware with some tissue paper to take away any humidity and in the freezer. Because if you leave this at room temperature or not cold enough, they start to melt because they absorb all the moisture from the atmosphere and just it becomes a liquid. Time to make a pistachio sponge cake with this. So you take 160 grams of pistachio paste and you throw it into a blender, just like this. Okay, great. And then you add 28 grams of flour. Okay, 100 grams of sugar. And 270 grams worth of eggs. That happens to turn out to be five eggs in my case, more or less. And then you add the lid and blend this into a smooth liquid. Once you've done that, you're going to want to sieve this. Now, you want a bigger sieve than mine, but if you happen to have a small sieve like me, you want to tap it to agitate the particles so that they get out of the way and allow the liquid to pass through. And you really want to do this to make sure you don't have any clumps, because any clumps in a siphon will be a bad thing. Now you add it into a siphon. So just make sure you get all of it and put it in there. And then you want to add your lid onto your siphon. Once you have securely fastened the lid onto the siphon flask, you want to add two nitrous oxide canisters, or N2O, or you can call it NOS, or laughing gas. There we go, first canister's in. Then I'm going to take it out, pop the second one in too. You really need two canisters for this liquid because otherwise it doesn't froth up enough. Okay, just shake it, and this is ready to go now. Okay, so just take a cup, and you're gonna to wanna to cut three holes in the bottom. This is so it doesn't have rapid expansion explode out the top, and also so that you can remove it easily at the end of cooking, because it allows air back in at the bottom. Okay, so just add one quarter to one third full of batter, just like this. Great. And you're gonna to wanna to put this into your microwave for about 50 seconds. Okay, so just pop it into the microwave. And I'm gonna set mine to 60 seconds because it's easier. And I'm just gonna remove it when there's about 10 seconds left. Okay, fast forward. Here we go, remove it now. Okay, so it cooked 53 seconds in this case, but 50 seconds is what you wanna aim for. Okay, then just remove the walls. And then pop it down, okay. And then you end up with this delightful, airy, spongy cake, which is soft and tender and surprisingly moist. And it's just a great, quick cake to make. Now for the fun part. We're gonna plate up and make it look epic. You take some chocolate syrup and just start drawing onto your plate, whatever random design you wish. I'm just gonna to try to make a sort of meat ride with fire coming outside. 
Okay, now this is a uh, chocolate syrup made of Nutella with water. I just heated it up and mixed it together. I thought the hazelnut flavor inside the Nutella would go well with the pistachio flavor of the rest of the dessert. Okay, so now you add your pistachio crumble that you made earlier onto the plate, wherever you want, but I'm putting it in the center thing. And then you take your sponge cake and you just tear a piece off, whoops, okay, and just place it onto your plate. And then take another smaller bit and place it on the other side. And then take another chunk and just place it here. Okay, now you don't need to use the entire sponge cake. Sometimes less is more. You can use that for another plate. So now on to the pistachio ice cream. You want to take a hot wet spoon and just scrape it one way at an angle and then turn and scrape it the other way while turning it. And this will create a beautiful, perfect cornell, just like this. Okay, just place the cornell onto your pistachio crumble, just like this. And then you add your caramel crisp just on top of it, cutting into the canal. Okay, just taking one. Okay, and there we go. And there we go, voila, the pistachio fantasy is done. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and share button somewhere down there. And if you want to use uh, or get any of the products that I use inside my videos, like for example, the siphon or the ice cream machine, and then click on the top right corner of your screen right now and you'll get a drop down menu to go to my website where there's more information about these and where to get them. Also, if you click on the price details button on my website, it locates what country you're in and it serves up a shop nearest to you so you don't have to pay extortionate shipping costs or uh, import duties. Now, it is a manual system though. I have to go find all the products and stores and put them in manually in the back end. So I only have a couple countries, but the only way to check it out is just give it a go and see what happens. Okay, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner of your screen and check out all my other videos by clicking on the right. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next week. Goodbye.